everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with this box. This is a Bloom Care Package sent to me by the company, so I do want to thank them for sending this to me to open up and play with with you guys. So, obviously we're always searching for ways to stay busy during this time, and Bloom has come up with creative ways to turn Bloom dolls and baby pops into super fun activities that let you repurpose your Bloom flower pots and baby pop planters for hours of entertainment. So after blooming the dolls and or popping the baby pops, the play doesn't have to stop. It's easy to find fun stuff around your house and get creative. Decorate your bloom dolls, baby pops, or planters with accessories like stickers, markers, and glitter pens. Then use real seeds and real dirt to plant a real garden in your bloom flower pots and planters. You can also mimic your doll's outrageous style or decorate your room. Possibilities are endless. I'm really, really excited. So it looks like we have some soil. We have some a whole bunch of decorations. We have a baby pot bloom activity here as well as a series two flower pot. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open these up and then we're going to see if we can plant some real stuff. I'm super excited, so let's get started. All right, you guys, first things first, we have to unbox both of these things. I already got dirt everywhere, don't worry about that. <laughs> so we have a series two regular bloom flower pot girl sensational surprise reveal add water to see who blooms 10 surprises inside just add water so let's go ahead and get started oh, that didn't work <laughs> let's go ahead and try that hair strip again there we go so just say stop right there stop do not remove or open before blooming so pop this open and we'll just set that off to the side. So we do have our little watering can that we're gonna need to fill up with water, which I will do so right now. Uh, but we do have this little thing we need to tear open so it can access the actual flower pot here. Okay, and then we have a little set of stickers here. This is really awesome. So you can decorate the inside of your pot. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Let's check out our list here for series two. So here are our friends. It does say magically changes color. Um, I don't know, oh, it says take her outside to reveal it, I see. And then we have the rares. I don't know if that's a certain one. I think it might, maybe it's only that one or maybe it's all of them, I'm not sure. Um, we have the adorable, rare, super rare, and mystical. Look at that mystical one, it looks so cool. I want that one. <laughs> And then we have all the mini friends down here. Look how fun they look. I want that little raspberry one with the coconut. Oh, look at the pretzel. Oh, I want Clover like really badly. She's a beehive, that's so cool. And most of these, a lot of the, well, I was gonna say most of these are outdoor themed, but not really. Um, on the back we have the outfits, accessories, shoes, and super rare styles. And then we have the instructions. So we just add water and see who blooms. So let's go ahead and add water to this. I have filled up the watering can, so we just have a paper uh, area here that we need to add water to. Oh, here we go. Here we go, it's happening. Here she goes, let's kind of add some water around here. Oh wow, so the blooming action actually is a lot better than it was in the previous series. So, let's so, uh, take that sticker off. And then we can go ahead and pop her out. There we go. Oh, she's in like a little chair this time. That's so cool. I'm gonna kinda, kinda get her out of the chair though. She is really in there. All right, that's a cool little chair. <laughs> so since I guess we probably have to dispose of her. I'm not sure how that works. Anyway, here she is. She has her hair. Now this hair does come off. You can mix and match with other other dolls. Um, it is, you can see rubber band on there. And her hair is squishy. She's really cool, I love her little eye makeup there. Let's see if we can find out. Okay, this is Ashley right here from the adorable section. Pretty cool. And let's go ahead and open this all the way. Like so, we do have to take this bit out. Forgot about that. All right, I got it off. I'm not sure if we're supposed to keep this or maybe we are. Maybe this is supposed to be like a little ride or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going to happen. It kind of looks like it, but <laughs> maybe we're supposed to dispose of that. I'm not really sure. Does it say on? Um, this is disposes the ring, so I guess we keep it. Anyway, we have all of these. Oh, here's a little piece of paper. We have all of these doors and stuff. 
So here we have our first accessory, which is the glasses. So that will look great on her. And then we have, I'm actually going to kind of take everything out of here, like all the doors and stuff, because I'm just going to use the pot to plant stuff. Um, but you can put them back on. Now we do have her little outfit here. We have some shorts. So let's go ahead and put her shorts on here. And then we have a shirt. Obviously gotta have the shirt. Whoops. These shirts are always a little tricky to get on, but you can get them on eventually. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, let's just push that up a little bit. Oh, her shorts fell down. <laughs> All right, so there's her outfit basically. And then let's see if we can get these flowers open. Okay, here's her little friend. It's like a little marshmallow. I don't know if this is a marshmallow. Does it say? Um, it's Graham, so I'm gonna say he is a marshmallow for a s'more, maybe. And he's just a hard plastic figure, so nothing too crazy special about him. Except that he's absolutely adorable. And then the last row we have the shoes. Oh goodness, that is going everywhere. So we have these white boots. These shorts do not want to stay on. <laughs> All right, let's get that on there. Ta-da! All right, and then let's close her up. And we're gonna use this to pot some things. You might need to put something there. I'm not sure. That'll be nice though for like when you water your plant so it doesn't rot the roots or anything. And then if you have like a little dish like this, collect the water. That's actually brilliant. I don't know if this, that was the plan, but ta-da, creative. Um, so I'm going to put our doll off to the side and then we're going to go ahead and get our baby pops open. I hope we have enough soil for everything. We might need to only plant the baby pops. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but let's go ahead and get this plastic off. We have soil like everywhere. And then we can get this off of here. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. And then we have the checklist. So let's get that open. We can check it out. All right, so here we have our baby pops. He's adorable, rare, super rare. Um, let's see what else do we have. We have the six baby moods. Curious, dreamy, crying, winky, happy, poopy. So they can have any of the moods. And then on the back we have the snuggle buddies, the cozy costumes, the baby shower gifts, and the instructions. So basically the instructions would pop out the sprout, we twist them and we see who there is and then there's even a nursery underneath here. So let's go ahead and open up our baby first. Ooh. So this will be awesome to plant in here. Love it. So, oh, these are accessories, so we don't necessarily get a baby in each one. So we got a bunch of accessories. We got a little carrot, a little flower, and a little tube of toothpaste or something. And then, next one, we have more accessories. We are guaranteed to get three babies. I'm pretty sure it said, did it say three? Uh, we're guaranteed to get a certain amount. Let me double check on here. Yeah, three babies guaranteed, so we're definitely going to get babies in there. We have glasses, we have a soccer ball, and we have a little sundae or cupcake kind of thing. And then, it's a baby! Oh, look at this one. I like the little seaweed looking hair. I think I just dropped like all the accessories. But they do, they are in like a little swaddle. So if you take them out, ta-da! Look at that. Really cute, love it. And then, let's see, where do I put you? Um, just to set you off to the side. And I'm just so excited to get planting. I'm, I'm like ready right now. Let's see, we have this baby, this flower baby. Like the little flower on top of her head. So cute. So we have a sleepy baby and a winky baby so far. And then the last but not least, Oh, we have like a moon and cloud baby. This one's so sweet. This one would be perfect if she was sleeping, but she's crying instead. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, man. So sad. It's okay. Don't be sad. And like the bit at the top's kind of squishy, but like it's not gonna come off or anything. But let's reveal the nursery here. So it looks like here's our little slide. So we do get a slide because this, hold on, I'm gonna show you in just a moment. I think this is how this goes. 
pretty sure. Um, right there. Okay. The slide goes into the here, which is kind of like the pool. Um, but anyway, you can use that as a planter too. We have stickers to decorate the nursery. We have this. We have this little stroller. This is our little baby shower gift. So we just gotta go ahead and put this together, which should be very simple. Just gotta put this sun cover on. And then the handles. Ta-da! And then, did I do that wrong? Oh, that's right. Maybe I did do it wrong. I think it's right. Maybe. Anyway. <laughs> So we have this little, ooh, we got our surprise outfit and it's the unicorn. Look at this. Is this like a rare one or anything? No, it doesn't really have a rarity, I don't think. This is really pretty. I don't want to get soil all over it, but we have this golden horn with a rainbow tummy and a little tail in the back too. So that's really awesome. We can use that. And here's some surprise play toys. So we have... We have a little giraffe, we have a little squirrel, and we have a lion. These guys are so cute, I love these. All right, so, enough of this. By the way, we did end up getting this nursery pattern, which is really cool, I like the little dream catcher. I like all the cactus stuff too. So we're setting that off to the side because this is gonna be our main flower pot area. I think ultimately I'm gonna choose this to start planting everything in, and if we have more soil left over, I'll use the bloom pot back here. But I do like the idea of having it in this more so. I think it's really cool. So we're going to go ahead and get our, actually, should we do the soil or should we probably should do decorations first? <laughs> I think that one might be the smarter thing to do. So we have a ton of stuff. I'm not going to go too, too crazy on decorations, but we do have some glue. We have a paintbrush. We have these foam balls that might cause craziness. We have a paint pencil. We have tons of stickers and glitter glue and this is puffy paint i think i'm just gonna go with like glitter. this is just a tube of glitter i'm definitely gonna go with these gems here so i do have there's a lot of soil dust everywhere i kind of just end up getting everywhere so i'm gonna kind of wipe off my bloom pot here that i'm gonna use a little bit so that it doesn't completely stick to the soil Normally you wouldn't have this issue. Wait to plant your plants last. So let's just do these. I think I'm I'm just I'm down for doing this. Let me go ahead and stick some of these stickers on. If these don't stick completely at first, just put some glue on them. And you can literally just go to the craft shop or use whatever you have in your craft cupboard or whatever and make whatever you want. So just gonna create here, nice sparkly, blinged out bloom pot. Maybe use some glitter glue. Let's see, actually, let's use this gold glitter glue. I'm gonna try my best and write out o'clock or something. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have put this one here. C, L, you see. Oh no. Oh, cluck. That looks so pretty. <laughs> I should actually write my other YouTube channel on here, Carolina Wild Harvest, because we do a lot of gardening over there. But um, I'm just going to write T O Y S. Oh, cluck toys. I think that looks really cool. I love it. Okay. So that's my personalized planter. It's really amazing. I'm excited for my stuff to start growing. All right, so I kind of want to let that dry just a tiny bit. I'm not. I'm probably gonna work from this side. That way, I don't accidentally touch it or something. So again, oh my gosh, we have this cool little flower. Where can I put this? Let me put this somewhere. Okay, let's get this glue. Do I have to? Actually, I think I'm just gonna use the glitter glue to attach it. Maybe let's use this glitter glue. Give it a little character and then we'll just throw it on like we're right there. I like it. 
I like it a lot. We have so much like possibilities, so many possibilities to work with, but I think that's, I like the simple kind of look to it. It looks great. So we're gonna jump ahead and we're gonna go ahead and start planting. Now I did wanna show you guys, we did get some seeds technically. So if we pull out this card, let's read what it says. We do have a bunch of flowers in here and it says, well maybe, stuck in there. It says a special surprise, plant these paper flowers and watch them bloom into wild flowers. Soak in water overnight, then plant under a thin layer of loose, well-drained soil. Keep moist and seeds will germinate in about two weeks. The paper will recycle into the soil as seeds, seeds burst into flowers. That is so super awesome. I cannot wait. Um, I'm not gonna follow up in two weeks or anything because I definitely wanna get this video out for you guys so you can see that you can totally repurpose these and have fun at home right now since you're kinda of stuck at home. Most of you are stuck at home. So, you can also plant vegetables in here. You can plant, well obviously if you plant vegetables in here you're gonna need to replant them like outside or something later. Or you can plant other flowers, herbs, something in here. Really awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this soil gonna start planting. I'm so excited to see what my flowers turn into. Um, I'm just gonna fill them up with soil right now and then I'm gonna go ahead and I mean you could I mean obviously they told you to soak the flowers overnight you could wet the soil really good and probably put them in there as well or I could um, obviously you guys probably don't have those same seeds at your house I mean you could plant a lot of different things in here this is gonna be so awesome so, I'm making a big old giant mess right now. That's okay. At least it's not on the side I just decorated. Okay, there we go. And you could even use your tiny little flower pot that you got, or your flower pot, your uh, watering can that you have from your sets, which is super awesome. You can even utilize this to plant as well, but you gotta be careful with the see-through containers. So you can like, use this to water isn't that cool? That's a really good idea, actually. I'm probably gonna use this, especially for the seedlings that I'm planting in my garden this year. So let's see if we can get some water. I'm gonna use this to moisten the soil a little bit. This is really cool. Hopefully that'll soak into the soil because the soil is really dry. And I'm gonna jump ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and plant these. I'm gonna make sure that the soil is very moistened and that It'll just start, start rolling right away. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig a little hole here. And I'm gonna place one of the flowers, or maybe two. Should I do two? I'll just do two. You don't wanna overcrowd your pots or your areas. Um, let's go ahead and dig in here. If you guys do want some gardening ideas or tips or something, make sure you go check out Carolina Wild Harvest on YouTube. I'll link it down below. But, <laughs> Let's see if we can get these ones in here. This is actually perfect. I'll go ahead and plant those in there. I mean, we do have some extra soil, so I could have, oh wait, no, I have two more spots. Wait, let me get some of that back. Give me this one back. So some of them could add one, some of them could add two here. So let's go ahead and add these in. There we go. All right, I have some excess soil. I'm just gonna kinda top this here. I'm gonna really need to clean my table after this. But, let me see if I can get more water going on here now. I'm gonna spend, you know, the rest of a couple minutes and stuff making sure the soil is moist and then I'm gonna go ahead and put bees in the sun. And I'm gonna wait for those flowers to grow. I'm really hyped for it. I am so excited to do more activities like this. I love gardening and I love planting things, so this is right up my alley for sure. I do, again, want to thank Bloom for sending me the idea for this activity and sending me all of the supplies for this activity. And I hope you guys end up doing this at home because I think planting things is very important. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.